Hi, it's Jakia. I'm here to show you how to block off your time as a business owner. Um, this is just my um, admin account that I kind of use for um, things within my business. Um, not necessarily like the main inbox, but this is like an admin account. So basically, um, what you're going to want to do is apply your well, map out your day how you would like for it to flow. So usually, I start with the time I wake up. So when I wake up, it's usually around like 5.30. So wake up. And then what I do is I go to more options. And I will count this. At, I will put here what I want to do. So it'll be like stretch, wash face and brush teeth, shower. So that's my wake up routine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this so that it repeats every weekday, Monday to Friday, every weekday for an hour, save. Now, as you can see, this is for the Javon admin account. Now, if your email that you use when people book calls for you, you want to make sure that when you're blocking your times off that you don't want to be bothered that you're using the calendar that your um, calendar system is connected to or else they'll just overwrite each other. So that's for me. And usually what I do is I'll create a new calendar. So create calendar. So I put family, family, family is good. So all things family, create. So this is to kind of show me that these things are what I use for family. So from 6.30 to about 7.30, I'm getting the baby ready for daycare. Getting ready, baby ready for daycare. Okay, so I switch it from that to that. Um, and that's Monday through Friday from 6.30 to 7.30. Save. So there, as you can see, you know, this is personal, this is family. And then from about 7.30 to 8 o'clock, I'm taking my baby to school. I walk my son to school, so it takes me a little while to get there and back. I'm like one of those moms who like to <laughs> learn about what's going on, um, what happened the day before, and... If they have any questions, they can call me. So <laughs> usually it takes me about 15 minutes to get out of the daycare building. So um, you do want it to repeat. So you just do every weekday, Monday through Friday, say. So now this is on the wrong calendar, so we need to update it. Family. So now that's blocked off. So here's where your, your schedule for work will come in. Now, if you have it to where you're only doing, let's say, client meetings in the afternoons, what you want to do is block off the times that you're going to be doing client work first. So if you wanted to save the morning space for, let's say, discovery calls or consultations, you're going to leave those here. So here we'll put client work. And then what we want to do is from, let's say, about 2 p.m. to about 5 p.m., we'll say. Say your regular hours are 9 to 5, right? So from 2 to 5, you're going to be doing client work. You don't want to be bothered. You don't want anybody to be able to book a call with you. And you do want this to happen Monday through Friday. So you save it. Every day, nobody can book a call with you during this time. Remember, this calendar is very important because when you go to connect it, 
to your calendar scheduling program like Acuity or Calendly is going to ask what um, calendar you want to connect to. And you always want to connect to the one that blocks off your personal work hours. So instead of this saying this, I would, oops, sorry. I would change this to say Jakia's work hours, right? Or I'll say Jakia's time, okay? So that makes it a little bit easier. So that's my time, that's my time. So from eight to nine, I'm going to eat breakfast every morning. Breakfast routine, right? Let's see. I do want this to repeat Monday through Friday so that you get that time to yourself. It's not all day, miss. I'm sorry. Monday to Friday. More options. You're going to add here. Eat breakfast. Drink coffee, coffee or tea. I'm a tea lover, so I drink tea. Drink a glass of water. And then like 10 to 20 minutes of meditation. Okay? So usually that's how my breakfast routine goes, right? So now you got client work here. You've got your wake up, you got your breakfast routine. So in between these times, what you're going to want to do is create a new calendar for discovery calls, slash consultations. And this is going to mirror the times that you have available in your calendar on Calendly or on Acuity. So from, you wanna take a lunch break. So you're gonna say from about 10 a.m. So let's see. Discovery call. Hours, right? It does repeat. Uh oh. Every day. I'm going to switch the calendar so that that shows. And then you want this time to be available from, let's say, 9 to 12 30. So for three hours a day, you got time to meet with people to go over discovery calls, right? Then you have your lunch break. So you want to break that time up to lunch break. So what I like to do is, let me save that really quick. I like to create a calendar for lunch because sometimes I end up going out to eat with others for lunch or I'll have like a meeting or whatever, a lunch date or I'm meeting with friends or whatever. So I wanna create that own calendar for itself. And what I like to do is, let's see, go back. What I like to do is, I will create this. So this is 12.30 to 1.30, Monday to Friday. So you see how that's like that. And then what happens is I will have that same time from 12.30 to 1.30 for lunch with hubby, right? And then I change it to that calendar. And what happens is when I change it to this calendar, um, so Monday through Friday, this is just to give you an example. So as you can see, nobody can book during that time. So you always want to make sure if you want it so that you're not available at all. Um, so that that way, um, some, nobody can book. 
even if you had like, um, for example, if you only had nine to one, nine to twelve thirty, for someone to be able to book a discovery call on your Acuity or your Calendly, but then you have somebody else call you and say, "Can I have a phone call with you?" and you say, "Oh, you know, that's going to be at twelve thirty. You know, then you could stop yourself and say, "Oh, wait, nope." I'm not available at 1230. And once you create more calendars for yourself in Acuity or Calendly, you'll be able to maneuver it so that people can book calls outside of your discovery call hours. But that's something for later on that we'll talk about. Um, so yeah, you just want to make sure that that main calendar reflects when you don't want to have to be bothered with people or when you don't want to, when you want to make sure that you're absolutely not being booked. Um, but this is how your calendar, how you block off your calendar. So now after after lunch from 1.30 to 2 o'clock, you have the option to take a break, take a walk or whatever. Or you can use that time to return calls, to scroll through Facebook. Um, usually what I do is I would use that time to um, social media engagement um, engagement on social media so you repeat this oops sorry you repeat this Monday to Friday and I'm gonna create a different calendar for it so that you can see it a little bit better because this is just an option it doesn't have to be your um, doesn't have to be your standard day-to-day, uh, -day, but this is kind of how you want it to map out every day when you do it. And then, all right, so I created the calendar and now I'm gonna switch over that calendar to here. So that looks like the same color. I don't like for my calendars to have the same color because then I get confused. Um, so now we just, oops, now we switch that over to Facebook, LinkedIn calendar, and there you go. Then once that's done and over with, you're done with your client work, then you want to start working on this. Pick up baby from daycare. This is usually me. So from five to about 5.30, I'm picking up my baby from daycare. That's family. And even though the work day has ended, it still isn't the end of your actual day. So you want to make sure that you're doing this. So give baby a bottle when we get home. That's usually what we do from about 5.30 to 6. So that repeats Monday to Friday. What am I looking for? Different calendar. Family. Save. So that's on there. Then from about 6 to 7, um, prepping and cooking dinner. Usually I cook a 30 minute meal throughout the week um, each day. I try not to overwhelm myself with um, a lot of things to do. And of course your schedule is gonna look different from mine. Usually I prep earlier in the day if I, have, if I don't have a lot of client work to do. So I'll usually put that into my calendar. Um, but let's just say you have a late day. So you have to do this every day, um, especially if you're not working from home. So weekly, every day, Monday to Friday. And then um, that's family time usually. Well, I like to make it my personal calendar because usually I don't have the baby when I'm prepping and cooking dinner, so. That's usually like that. And then from about 
7 to 7.30. I'm getting the baby ready for bath, so baby bath time. And I use emojis sometimes to kind of spice it up a little bit. Um, just so it looks nice, especially on my phone, like, makes me actually want to look at it when it has the emoji. <laughs> um, of course, I can't really see what I'm doing when it's in that little window, but yeah. So there we go. And then towards the end, this should be 7.30. So from 7 to 7.30, I'm sorry. I'm going to do all events. So from then and then from 7.30, oh, baby bedtime. That's from 7.30 to 8. Does repeat Monday to Friday. He usually goes down at his regular time, but sometimes he stays up late. If you're a mom, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> um, and then usually... Once he's sleeping, what I try and do is take a shower. So shower time. And that'll be on my regular calendar. Um, does repeat Monday through Friday. Again, my weekends look a little bit different than this, but they do have a structure like this. Like I make sure to block off my time so that I know what I have going on. Um. And then from about like 9 to 9.30, I usually scroll on social media. Um, so you could change that to that. Um, that's only from like 9 to 9.15. Um, I try not to stay on the phone that late. Um, just because like my eyes get tired and it's just not good. So there, and then from 9.15 to 10 o'clock, I'm going to bed. Sleep. Okay, so it does repeat. Monday to Friday, save. And this is pretty much how your schedule should look when you're blocking off your time. Um, it may seem like a lot in the beginning, but I promise you, if you follow the blocks that you put on your calendar, you will find yourself having more time to do things, feel less anxiety, and feel more organized in your business. Um, the more detailed you get, the easier it'll become. And then you can start doing your weekend um, planning. So, yeah, um, I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.